After waiting for more than two weeks, finally a promising build with tons of new features. Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you what are the new features of Windows 11 build 22557. But wait a second, only 5.3% of you guys subscribe to my channel, 94.7% of the viewers don't. Please, for the love of God, subscribe to my channel. I have big dreams with my channel. I can only achieve them with the help of you guys. Thank you so much in advance. This build includes a handful of new features for insiders to try, including folders in the pinned apps area of start, live captions, a new focus experience, quick access improvements in the file explorer, new touch gestures, and a lot more. This build also includes a lot of general improvements and refinements to Windows 11 too. Number one, it now allows apps. Now apps can be grouped together into folders in the start menu. You can add more apps to the folder, rearrange apps within a folder, and remove apps from a folder. Further improvements like the ability to name and rename folders will be available in one of the upcoming builds. Number two, now it is now easier than ever to silence notification banners with the do not disturb with this new icon that is added. Under Settings, System, Notifications, you can set up rules to automatically turn on Do Not Disturb. For example, you could set Do Not Disturb to automatically turn on outside your work hours. Additional, additionally, you can set Priority Notifications to control whether calls, reminders and specific apps break through when Do Not Disturb is on. It is easy to start focus right from notification center. Click on time and date in the taskbar or you can open notification center. Select the amount of time for your focus session and press start focus. When you start a focus session, taskbar badging will turn off. Flashing of applications in the taskbar will turn off. A focus timer will appear on the screen and do not disturb will turn on. Focus in Windows integrates with focus sessions in the clock app. So you can play calming music and see a task list of from Microsoft to do. When your focus session ends, you will receive a notification letting you know that your focus time has completed. You can personalize your focus experience from settings, system, focus. 3. Captions are automatically generated on devices from any content with audio. Captions can be displayed at the top or bottom of the screen or in a floating window. The caption window can be resized and caption appearance can be personalized by applying or customizing a caption style. Microphone audio can be included, which can be helpful during in-person conversations. Live captions support English US content. Live captions can be turned on with the Windows plus Control plus L keyboard shortcut or from accessibility flyout under quick settings. When turned on for the first time, live captions will prompt for download of required speech models to enable on-device captioning. Improved Quick Access Number 4 New features have been added to Quick Access. Pin to Quick Access support has been extended from only supporting folders to now also supporting files. Pinned files are shown in a new section above, above recent files in Quick Access. For users who log into Windows with or attach as a secondary account, a Microsoft account, a work or education account, Pinned and recent files from office.com will also be shown in the quick access. Changes that pin or unpin files hosted in OneDrive, SharePoint and Teams will sync and be reflected in office.com and office apps. File activity updates from collaborators such as edits and comments are also shown in tile views and can also be shown in details view. Number five. When browsing your OneDrive folders, you can see your sync status and quota usage without having to leave the file explorer. New touch gestures. Swipe up with a finger from the middle of the taskbar to invoke the start menu and swipe down to dismiss it. Within start, within start, swipe right to left from pinned to get all apps and left to right to get pinned. The same gestures work for recommended or more. Swipe with a finger from bottom right of the taskbar to invoke quick settings and swipe back down to dismiss it. Updated animation for swiping to in invoke and dismiss notification centers from the right edge of the screen so that it is more responsive and follows your finger. In full screen, touch oriented apps and games, example Solitaire, notice a gripper that appears if you swipe from the edge of the screen. This feature is designed to keep you in your app if you accidentally swipe near the edge. If you need the to access edge content, simply swipe again on the gripper. 
Improved Snap Layouts Number 7. Microsoft has added a new way to snap windows into snap layouts. They have also improved Snap Assist to seamlessly animate between zones in a layout for an end-to-end -end snapping experience. More sustainable power settings and recommendations. Number 8. The default values for screen and screen off have been updated to reduce energy consumption and carbon emission when PCs are idle. The changes to default sleep and screen off settings will only be seen by those clean installing windows with this build or higher. Number 9. Improving to improvements to browsing the web in Microsoft Edge with improvements to browsing the web in Microsoft Edge with Narrator. When navigating the web, you can have Narrator read the current item. Example current page, current time, etc. And when you read need to sort a table on the web, Narrator will announce the sort order you selected, have selected, example that is ascending or descending. It is not simpler to know when an item is selected in the tree view control and to know the stat state of a checkbox when these are part of the list. Updated design of task manager to match the new Windows 11 design principles. This includes a new hamburger style navigation bar and new settings page, a command bar and each page giving gives access to common actions. A new dark theme to task manager will automatically match the system-wide theme configured in settings app. Last April, Microsoft experimented with a new feature called Eco Mode in task manager and they are bringing this back with a brand new name that is Efficiency Mode. This feature is helpful when you notice an app consuming high resources and would like to limit its consumption so that the system gives priority to other apps which will lead to faster foreground responsiveness and better en energy efficiency. You can apply efficiency mode either by clicking on the command bar in the processes page or right click on the process. You can only apply efficiency mode to a single process and not to the entire group process. If the option is grayed out, it generally means that it is a core window process and throttling it might affect the performance of the system. The efficiency mode processes will be marked with a new leaf icon and they are also introducing a new pause icon for suspended processes to indicate that the process is in suspended mode. They have introduced a new PowerShell they have introduced a new PowerShell module to provision of language and language related features. I have put the list up there on my website and you can check from the description. Finally drag and drop is back from taskbar. Now you can and you can now easily switch between color profiles. When casting Windows plus K from the screen, a cast icon will appear at the lower left corner of the taskbar to show you are casting. Clicking on that icon will open the cast quick settings and where you can quickly stop casting if needed. Expecting more improvements to come from this experience later in the builds. As discovered by insiders with the build 22543, they have updated the battery charging icons to use a lightning bolt instead of a power cable. This addresses feedback that it was not possible to see lower charging levels at a glance because they were obscured by the cable. It is also consistent with other consumer electronic devices and reflects the evolving landscape of a charging to include USB charging devices. File Explorer will now show previews of items within folders. When sharing a local file in File Explorer to Outlook, you can now compose an email message directly within the share, within the share window without having to go into Outlook directly. You will need Outlook desktop integration installed via via the store. This capability is not available for files stored in OneDrive folders as OneDrive has its own share experience. Also, the share window will now suggest contacts from Microsoft 365 to share files to via. Searching for apps and settings in the Windows search box on the taskbar is now even faster and more accurate than before. They have also updated the snap group visuals to include the desktop wallpaper to make it easier to differentiate your groups from normal windows. This will appear when you press the Alt plus Tab button, the task view and in the taskbar video, the task view and in the taskbar previews. Additionally, Alt plus Tab will now show as window for all insiders running build 22554. Updated transition animation that shows from growing, going from one landscape, from one snapped window state to the other. Rotating your device between portrait and landscape orientation is snappier and more responsive. Narrator now provides a ma new male natural voice called Guy. They introduced a new natural voice for Narrator in the build 22543. A new settings is added to the punctuations automatically when dictating this text has been added. You can turn it on by clicking on the settings icon in a voice access UI and selecting automatic punctuations from manage options. 
They've added a new settings to filter profanity. This is on by default and in any profane or sensitive words will be masked with an asterisk when dictating text or commanding. You can turn it off. You can turn it off by so clicking on the settings icon in the voice access UI and selecting filter profanity from manage options. Expanded the dynamic refresh rate experiences on laptops with a 120Hz display beyond smooth scrolling in office and low latency inking. When you move the cursor, the system will now boost to 120Hz to make your PC more responsive. Touch and pen interaction blend into smooth animations in Windows UI and Apps UI. Smooth scrolling is now, is now supported only in Office, but also in Microsoft Edge Canary in Windows UI, such as Settings app. To enable smooth scrolling on Edge Canary, you need to enter the following in the address bar of the new tab and then restart Edge. This build introduces a feature called Optimizations for Windowed Games and is designed to significantly improve latency and to unlock other exciting gaming features including Auto HDR and Variable Refresh Rate. Latency improvements can benefit all gamers from improving your input lag to creating a competitive edge in your gaming experience. Go to Set System, Display, Graphics and change default graphics settings to enable this feature. They are also working on a new IME Honor of Key to the touch keyboard, small layout for Japanese, Korean and traditional Chinese IMEs. Also updated some of the emojis based on feedback. Generally improved results when searching in settings, in including more re relevant results now have some flexibility for returning results in the case when the search terms have common typos. Increase the size of icons in the settings, navigation panes to make it a bit easier to see, to help customers give their PC a second life or recycle it. They're also including links in the settings to help the customer find available programs. Some articles may not be localized. Storage sense will now be available by default for PCs going through the out-of-the-box experience. Your current settings will be persisted with an update. You can also configure your storage and settings under system slash storage. Updated settings with time and language category and date and time page to now include a live digital clock and information about currently selected option. Updated the design of the ne network and internet dial up where you have a connection and setup aligned with the overall design of the settings in Windows 11. They have made some adjustments to personalizations fonts to improve the design of the page, including that the drag and drop area for installing phones is now larger. Aligning with Hyper-V behavior even if you are not in full screen mode, modifies key, keys and shortcuts, for example Windows key shortcut will now be integrated by the Windows Sandbox if the window has focus. Windows Sandbox will now start on basic environment variables usage inside in a mapped folder path. They have updated the accessibility flyout on the login screen to align with the Windows 11 design principle. Insiders will also notice the mica material in the taskbar in the title bar surfaces. For example, the run dialog now utilizes mica. So that's all for this video, completing the entire update features of Windows 11 build 22557. So several new features are there. Have fun tweaking with them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think this was a nice one and you gained something from this video then do like share and subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one